Good morning, everyone. Today is August the 14th. I got my new shirt on. Tim and Miriam sent me this shirt, and I'm going to find out where they come from because I like that. I'm going to get some more, and it's comfortable, and it's thick, and it's all cotton. So, thank you. Appreciate it. Very thoughtful of you. Ra doesn't deserve it, but I do. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, okay, anyhow. I got something to tell you right now live on camera. I'm tired. Well, uh, here's a, I'm going to tell you something about Mariah and I. We kind of balance each other out. Uh, in the mornings is when I shine and I feel the best. And in the afternoons and evenings, when we get home, I'm not fit for anything. Now, yesterday, I wanted to do a little bit more chores when we got home, and I didn't. Folks, my time, after three, I'm no good. Period. I'm no good after three. Now, if I'm still out working and mowing and things I got to do, I will do that. But... Mariah, she'll get home and she'll be all gun ho and want to do chores and stuff like that. God, my will bouncing. And she'll be wanting to do chores and everything. I have to do my chores. But me, I do my chores in the morning. I am not fit for anything, nothing in the afternoons and evenings. I'm not fit for anything. Mm -hmm. I so chores. I have to cook dinner. I mowed the yard yesterday. Uh, yeah, Mariah, she she does this every evening. She shines in the evening. I shine in the mornings. I had to. I get up at 5 o'clock and... Then you wake me up at the crack ass of dawn and then we don't leave until 8.30. It does take me a while to get all my chores done in the mornings. I had to lay on the couch and try to get some siesta. But Mariah's not worth a hoot in the mornings. And I'm not worth a hoot in the evening, so she's got to leave me alone in the evening because she knows if you want to get on my nerve, you start bugging me after I get home. You just do that, and we will fight like animals. She always wins. You don't fight like animals. Well, I'm going to have to shave again. I hate that. You know, I just shaved last Saturday. I told you to thread it. Fuck it. I hate, I hate shaving. You don't listen. Well, I was at work all day Tuesday. That's our big day. We'll work things around. You know that, Mariah. Monday, we're going to have to do the blockhouse yard. No, we will work things around. So don't worry about it, okay? Okay, good morning again. Um, so, have you noticed going out early in the mornings like this? A heavy, heavy do. Well, especially right now. It's unusually wet this year. And so, um, <clears throat> you can barely walk a couple of feet, uh, feet in the grass, and your feet are soft and wet. Now, I know there's better shoes out there, and I should get me a pair, and I intend to do that. But for this morning, Mariah and I have decided that what we're going to do is she's going to make a round the perimeters and mow all the grass down and knock the water off to where I can walk behind her and weed eat. We're hoping that'll remedy it. I don't have a lot of hopes, but we'll we'll see. I'll let y'all know if it does any good. Hey, everyone. What do y'all think about all this rain in August? I mean, last year at this time, we were praying for rain and we didn't get any mowing stop in September. Now it is so wet and hot, it is crazy unbelievable. There's no way we can keep up. I mean, we're barely keeping up. What do you think about it? Cute stuff? Um, wet. Let's hear a word from Mariah. She said it's wet. I wonder what that's for. And she wonders what that's for.
We're here at the doctor's office fixing the mow it. And I looked over here. Y'all look at this mushroom. It is a it is as big as my hand, man. Alright, hillbilly. Tell me what that is, Idaho hillbilly. Look at that. That is massive, isn't it beautiful? I bet you that's poison. Well, we're gonna throw that in the trash, and then pick them sticks up, and we're gonna get with it. Okay, gonna try to knock it here out before it rains. Man, everything is so wet. I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better, girl, when I'm with you. She luminous so bright like a star in the skylines. She got the looks, the good, oh boy, I need a so bad in my life. Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go? London, Paris, Tokyo, oh, shawty, we could go. Don't need no luggage, na 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 na. Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 na. Just me and your sons are right, sons are right, girl. I want nobody but you. 12.03 and it ain't rained yet. It's just wet as all get out. It's very wet, very humid. On to the next one. Okay, Judy and I just got through this yard here and the homeowner came out and asked me if I would maintain the weed control. I don't do weed control. I tried at one time and I cannot buy the stuff to put on the lawn as cheap as a lawn, these people that do it regular, they'll come and maintain it four times a year for about $300 a year. But me and Mariah, we don't do it no more. Do it, do it. We stopped doing it a long time ago. How many have we done? Six. Six. And it is 107. It says 79 degrees. That's cool. Well, it sure is humid. What time it is, but it's pretty late. This is our last yard. Look what I did. That's why she scolded me. But y'all, look what I did to that road. I hope she don't drive on that road. You know what happens when you drive on wet grass? It sticks. That yard is dirty. This is going to be a mess to clean up. But I better get with it. I'm right. She's already going to chew me out good. Yeah, you literally blew grass everywhere. There's the end result. Looks good. Mariah ran over the front one more time and got rid of all the clumps. Okay, it's 632. We're finished. It is still very wet out here. Very. It's crazy wet. But we're done. How many did we do today? 15. Mariah said we did 15. 
that's not too bad considering we had to go all the way to Knoxville and back. I mean, that minimum of two hours driving. And we left this morning at... 8.05. Well, eight, about 8.45 actually. 8-ish. Eight. Well, you all know because I said it at the beginning of the video, of the video I think. But uh, we're finished now. Tired. And I don't know if I'm going to repair my building tomorrow. Or me and Ryan's going to go somewhere. We really haven't made that decision hey, yet. Pull, pan the video up where it doesn't look like a gut. There you go, just head. Oh, wow. It's been a long day. We're ready to go home. And we ordered pizza. Isn't that terrible? And a salad. We got pizza and a salad, so we're not so bad. We're going to eat some salad first. Um. We got Papa Murphy pizza. Chicken artichoke. I love y'all heard of Papa Murphy. Most of you probably have, but I guess ain't Papa Murphy's ain't everywhere. And we got the, what'd you say? Chicken artichoke. Chicken? Artichoke. 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 And a Mediterranean salad. And a Mediterranean salad. Golly, what a mess this place was. So, um... Did he show you what he did? Bluegrass against the building. <laughs> it happened just late in the day. I was actually, most of the time, if you go two stripes away, you're okay to blow against that but, way. But that's a 44-inch deck. But you had the guard up, too. You had the thing up. Remember yeah. Remember that? It just goes, Well, two is a 44-inch deck, so I guess I should have went at least three stripes. Because see, with the other mower, the... 61, you got two stripes, you're at least 120 inches. What'd you're you 10 feet away with two at? stripes, huh? What'd you put the front of that? Three and a quarter. Because it's that is a $50 yard. Uh, Y'all tell me, does that seem fair to you? So the whole thing is probably a, about means we're probably mowing about a third of an acre. So y'all let me know what you think bi weekly if that's. About what y'all charge. I know everybody charge different everywhere they go. Floridians probably charge 20 bucks. Florida, yeah. I've had people move here from Florida and want me to mow a half acre yard for 20 bucks. And they said that's what they do it in Florida for. I told, and y'all probably have heard me talk about this in previous videos if you've been watching it any length of time. Um, to the guy that moved up here from Florida, there's actually two of them. And they said, they got your yard mowed for 20 bucks in Florida. And I said, well, I don't know how in the world anybody can make any money on $20. They said, I don't either, but they did it. That's a prime example of people that take advantage of people. Now, like Mariah and I, we, left, we lost two yards. Y'all probably remember a few weeks ago. We lost two yards that they said they wanted push mowed. Now this is a brand new guy started mowing. He's push mowing it. And they was bi-weekly. One of them was bi-weekly. And now they're getting it done every week. That's so fishy. I'm betting you that this guy is only getting about 15 bucks a yard per mowing. Because he, she said she couldn't afford any more than $30. Yeah. She said she couldn't afford more than $60 a month. Now he's mowing it four times. And, so, and she's always been every two weeks. So I'm thinking that they're taking advantage of this fella, and I hope he's watching right now. I know we gave him our YouTube channel name and everything. If you're watching, let me tell you, those yards you're push mowing, I would not push mow those yards for less than $40 a mow. And most everybody out here won't, because y'all, I'm charging $50 for this third acre. The ones that he took, one of them, it's about that size, and the other's just probably a, a, a little bit smaller, and he's push mowing them. I hope you're watching. Don't let people do that. If you're willing to get out here and push mow a yard, 
you can do good. You don't have to work like that for so cheap. But he's just started, and well, he obviously needs the money. Job. He's got a full-time job. He's got a full-time job, and for him, you know, most people, if they're working on a job and they're making $15 an hour, they come out here and mow two yards and make 30 they think, whoa, this just doubled my pay. But they don't realize that you've got, you don't just make an hourly wage when you're out here. You've got to pay for your your mower, your expenses, your gas. And it's hard, laborious work puts them on these yards. Anyways, so we're going home, and Mariah had something to say. What did I have to say? I don't know. You can't remember? You didn't. I didn't have anything to say, and I can remember that. I didn't have anything to say. Nothing. Well, she's always got something to say to me. Anyways, we're going home. Thank you guys for mowing with us today. Hope you didn't get too hot. And uh, Tim and Miriam, thank you for my shirt. I'm, I've decided I'm going to go online and get some more. I don't know where you got it from. Teespring. But I like it. And I'm going to get some more. Oh, and Mariah's flower, we picked it up that day. It was a little wilted, but we watered it, and it's fine and dandy. It's cotton candy. Y'all have a good weekend. Stay safe.